So this is two and a half years after I replaced the Y sustain board and the Y buffer board is still working and I have added a few computer fans to the back to keep the plasma TV cool. When you took your back cover off, you can see this power supply board in the middle, usually at the top. And when the cover is off, the television is live, and this is high voltage, like 200 volts, 190 volts. So it is high voltage and it can kill you in an instant. So if you don't know how to do or don't know anything about electricity, it's better to get someone who knows what uh, high voltage means and better let them check it for you. Uh, maybe put on some gloves might help. The test point for the two voltages that you need to check are the VS and VA. VS over here, over here, I'm sorry, over here, and the VA is over here. On the back of your television, usually on top, there's usually a label that tells you the different voltages for the signal. VS, in my case, is 207, some of them are 200, and VA is 63, and then you have the other voltages. So the the two that we need to know are the VS voltage and VA. And the test pole is over here. It's, in this case, on my board, is labeled test, VS test. So it's this pole here. So you put your um, multimeter, set it to uh, DC. Um, if you have been auto ranging, then uh, that, that will work and if not set it to uh, so you can measure over 200 volts put your red here and put your ground on a grounding screw screw and see what the voltage is if it is 207 or close to it then that's fine and then you can also check your VA voltage there's another pole here it's like a quarter of an inch maybe a little maybe three eighths of an inch high. You can put your red uh, positive probe here again and your negative over there and read the voltage. It should be 63 in this on this board anyway. If those two boards, uh, those two voltages check out then you're probably good unless unless uh, your television uh, it's not turning on. Uh, it, you probably it would be working okay if these two voltages are good but uh, before you test for voltage you can actually just look at all the different caps. These are the big caps here and all the smaller caps right next to it and all the different caps, the capacitors and see if they're bulging. If they're bulging or they're brown or uh, the resistors next to it are brown then you know they're, they're not good and then in that case the voltages probably wouldn't wouldn't check out correctly. 
So assuming that all your components are okay, uh, check the voltage if your television is not working. Uh, you have to be careful when you open up your television. When you see the triangle with the lightning sign, that means you have high voltage here. Doesn't mean the other part is not dangerous, but this part is particularly dangerous with the big caps here and also the heat sinks. You have to be extra careful and don't touch it. So after you are sure that the voltages are correct, uh, you can start to check your other boards. Your so how do you test the uh, whether your Y sustain or X board or your buffer boards or your main boards? How do you check the, to see if they're good or not? You could tell uh, actually if your television screen has no picture, it has a lot of static, usually and that is the Y board. It's usually but not always. But that is almost like uh, 80 percent or 90 percent of the culprit is from the Y board and the attaching Y upper and Y lower boards. So how do you how do you sort of um, troubleshoot it? Um, turn off the television and unplug all your cables on this side and just leave the Y sustain board on and then you turn the television back on. If you don't get a picture then most likely it is your Y board. If you get a picture then um, you can leave that connector connection on, turn off the TV, plug the other one in. This one would be the export. And you do the same thing for the other boards. If you don't get a good picture, say over here when you reconnect your Y board, that means your Y board is probably bad. And same thing for the export with this connected and you you don't have a good picture it could be your export that has a problem so this is how you troubleshoot your different boards of course as, as I was saying there are different uh, or there are other troubleshooting guys too but this is one way of uh, troubleshooting um, the different boards that you have you can of course visually check to see the different boards to see if there are any blown components like fuses and stuff or brown spots indicating indicating you have uh, shorted out something or the uh, caps are blown you know you don't have to do any uh, troubleshooting like this if you look at the board and, and they are fried and you you replace the board. The, th the problem is even if your main board is good uh, when you have trouble with your Y board and it is not repaired uh, after a while it will damage your your power board. Um, to go back a little further, actually, usually it is the Y buffer board and usually the one on the top that gets overheated and then that takes down the Y sustain board or what they call Y main board. And then if you don't take care of that board, then eventually this main board or the power supply board will be damaged too. Usually it will take a while. For my case anyway, uh, the Y sustain board I think was bad and I repaired it in time so um, it, it didn't damage my my power board. 
so that was good uh, that is why generally when people are replacing these boards they replace not just the whiteboard they replace not just the whiteboard they replace the upper buffer board and if possible replace the lower one too because if the buffer boards are not replaced and you just replace a sustain board it can get damaged again by the buffer boards so the buffer board is usually cheaper thirty forty dollars is why sustain board is expensive over hundred dollars that's what I did I replaced mine two and a half years ago and it worked now after the replacement or even if you rep repair your power supply board you might have to adjust the VA and the VS voltage because when you t turn your television set back on it you might get a picture but you might have some static on the picture you might have some like uh, hot spots or like uh, sparkles that means your voltages are not correct in that case you can with the television on again you have to be extra careful uh, make the adjustment I forgot which one I adjusted probably the VS and you adjust it probably down and see if your picture ask someone to be at the front of your television and see if those noise disappears and if it disappears then you probably have the right voltage you can also test the voltage as well but you can just adjust it down and then you you would have a good picture I when I did mine I was looking making the adjustment with a uh, screen that is uh, full of different colors or oh, it was news or what, what not actually it's probably better to have like a white screen and have someone stand in front of the TV and if you see some noise on the white screen you make the adjustment for the VS and the VA and until you don't see those sparkles anymore and if you want to you can retest the voltage to see if they are at the right range which again in this case is 207 for the VS and VA for the 63 so yeah basically that's what it is uh, so power supply board Y Y board those are the the two problems that that you have when you can't even start your television nine out of ten times is that's your power supply port uh, and most of the time is your capacitors that are blown so I hope this would help you I know I did I wouldn't I wasn't able to uh, take the cover off because my television is working I didn't want to go through the trouble of taking the television cover off to show you the power supply board so this is a picture I took of the power supply uh, when it was not working well the power supply was working that was like two and a half years ago when the Y board wasn't working so I took a picture and, and this is the picture uh, unfortunately it is not very clear but then you won't be working on a on a plasma TV that is the same model or same um, manufacturer as mine although for the plasma display a lot of the main boards and the wide boards they're made by the same company so I hope this helps you rather than confuse you thanks for watching